this uh, last example, I still use the Raspberry Pi, and uh, I have uh, several different devices here. I haven't connected all of them, but uh, from the left here, I have something called an I square two multiplexer, and here is a MPU sixty fifty. It's an accelerometer and a gyroscope, and this is the same circuit. And uh, the reason I connected them to the multiplexer is because they both have the same address. And the multiplexer lets me use different buses so that they can be addressed. Uh, on So each bus can have 127 different addresses. And uh, that makes it possible to have up to eight different devices with the same address. And then I have some other I2C devices. This is a, a device that measures uh, voltage and uh, current, and it measures on the high side. So um, I can measure voltage, current, power, energy. And that's really nice uh, if you want to see the power consumption, if you want to measure how long will your batteries last, and uh, if your cells are drawing too much uh, current so that they may break. And the last one here is uh, a device that measures uh, analog values. Uh, so it has four different analog inputs. And the idea is that I can use it for example for finger sensors or something like that. And it also has the problem that the, it doesn't have so many different addresses that you can choose between. But using the multiplexer makes it so much easier to use it. And uh, I will try to make more videos explaining more in detail about each of these devices and of how you can connect either using Arduino or the Raspberry Pi and how you do that in my robot lab.